Gordon always pulled the big express. He was proud of being the only engine strong enough to do so. It was full of important people, like Sir Topham Hatt, and Gordon was seeing how fast he could go. Hurry, 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 he said. Trickily talk, trickily talk, trickily talk, 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 said the coaches. In a minute, Gordon would see the tunnel where Henry stood bricked up and lonely. Oh dear, why did I worry about rain spoiling my lovely coat of paint? I'd like to come out of the tunnel. But Henry didn't know how to ask. I'm going to poop poop at Henry, said Gordon. He was almost there when... Whee! And there was proud Gordon going slower and slower in a cloud of steam. His driver stopped the train. What has happened to me? asked Gordon. I feel so weak. You burst your safety valve, said the driver. You can't pull the train anymore. Oh dear, said Gordon. We were going so nicely too. And look, there's Henry laughing at me. <laughs> Everyone came to see Gordon. Huh, said Sir Topham Hatt. I never liked these big engines. Always going wrong, send for another engine at once. While the conductor went to find one, they uncoupled Gordon, who had enough puff to slink onto the siding out of the way. Edward was the only engine left. I'll come and try. Huh, said Gordon. That's no use. Edward can't push the train. Kind Edward puffed and pushed and pushed and puffed, but he couldn't move the heavy coaches. I told you so, said Gordon. Why not let Henry try? Yes, said Sir Topham Hatt. I will. Will you help pull this train, Henry? Oh, yes, said Henry. When Henry had got up steam, he puffed out. He was dirty and covered with cobwebs. Oh, I'm stiff, I'm stiff, he groaned. Have a run to ease your joints and find a turntable, said Sir Topham Hatt. When Henry came back, he felt much better. Then they coupled him up. Beep, beep, said Edward. I'm ready. Beep, 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 said Henry. So am I. Pull hard, we'll do it. Pull hard, we'll do it. They puffed together. We've done it together, we've done it together, said Edward and Henry. You've done it, you've hooray! Done it, hooray. You've, done you've done it, hooray! It, hooray sang the coaches. Everyone was excited. Sir Topham Hatt leaned out of the window to wave at Edward and Henry. But the train was going so fast that his hat blew off into a field where a goat ate it for tea. They never stopped till they came to the station at the end of the line. The passengers all said thank, thank you. you, and Sir Topham Hatt promised Henry a new coat of paint. On their way home, Edward and Henry helped Gordon back to the shed. All three engines are now great friends. Henry doesn't mind the rain now. He knows that the best way to keep his paint nice is not to run into tunnels, but to ask his driver to rub him down when the day's work is over.